Welcome Average Apple user. Today we're going to be installing Mac OS Snow Leopard using UTM on the iPad. So let's go ahead and get started. So we have the current version of UTM as well as the uh, IPA of Snow Leopard already on the iPad. So we're going to go ahead and launch UTM. And we're going to go ahead and click the plus sign to create a new virtual machine. And we're going to give it a name. And we'll call this Mac OS. The architecture, we want to make sure it is set to PowerPC. The system, we want it to be Mac 99 Power Mac. And we're going to leave the memory at 512. That is the recommended for the average user. You can try to increase it to 1024 megabytes, which would be 1 gigabytes of RAM. I've had an experience where sometimes it works great, other times it crashes. So we're going to today just leave it with the default of the 512 megabytes. So. Then we're just going to hit, oh, then we're going to go down here also and click on open configuration after creation. And we're just going to hit save for now. We're going to come down here to where it says sound. And we're going to turn off the sound. Because the sound does not work on this as of yet. We're going to hit back and we're going to hit done. That's going to create the basic virtual machine. Now we need to... Go back into where it says the little blue eye. All right, and then we're going to go into drives and images. We want to hit the plus sign. We're going to hit path, and then we're going to hit new. We're going to hit import. And then we're going to hit browse. Make sure where, wherever the directory you have your snow leopard is. And you're going to go ahead and select your snow leopard. Go ahead and tap that again. Because this will put it in there in the uh, drive section. Under image type, we're going to want to click there and click CD slash DVD image. Then go up and hit drives and images. It now shows up. We're going to hit the plus sign again. On path, hit select going to hit the plus sign again this time we're going to go down to create so we hit create and this we're going to be creating our hard drive so we're just going to go mac hd img and this i'm going to give it 50,000 megabytes just to be on the safe side and hit save we're going to hit Click on Mac HD IMG that we just created. Make sure image type is disk this time. We want to leave it as disk. Hit drive and images. Now we have our two drives. So we can go back and hit configurations. And then we can hit done. Once that is uh, set, we're ready to actually begin the installation. So we're going to go ahead and hit play. And I usually maximize it so I can see what's going on. You can actually even hide this if you want. It's telling you to use a three finger swipe down to show it again. This can take two hours to actually install or longer. Uh, so during the loading screens, I will be cutting those out to save time on the video. Thank you. So we're going to make sure that English is selected and then hit next. So we're going to go ahead and come up to utilities. 
And we're gonna go... Disk Utilities. Because we need to format this hard drive. So we're going to go ahead and click on the hard drive. We're going to hit erase. Leave it as Mac OS Extended Journal. And we'll give it a name. We'll just call this as well Mac HD. And then hit erase. Hit erase again. And it is setting up our hard drive. This should take a minute or two. All right, so that did take long at all. So we got our hard drive now. So now we're going to go ahead and hit Disk Utility. Quit Disk Utility. Which brings us back to the screen. So we're going to go ahead and hit Continue. And we're going to hit Agree. Now we're going to select the hard drive that we just formatted. And hit Continue. It's asking us if we want to install it, so we're going to hit install. And it's going to uh, begin uh, checking for consistency before installation, installation begins. And then it will actually do the installation. So once that is done, I will be back. Okay, it is done checking the disk for your consistencies. So it is now going to begin the installing of the Mac operating system. This can again take quite a long time. Um, I've noticed sometimes I get about a two hour uh, time remaining. Uh, I don't think it's ever actually taken me two hours but it takes a while so make sure that you have plenty of time to install this when you sit down to install it. We will be back after the installation. Okay, once the installation is done, you're going to see this install failed screen. Do not panic on that. There's a reason for that. We now need to go up into utilities. And go to startup disk. Once all your disk loads, you want to double. Um, you want to make sure that the Mac OS X 10.5.4 on Mac HD is selected, and then just hit restart. And then we're going to go ahead and hit restart again. This could also take a few minutes, so I will be back when it is done. And it will restart. It did take a few minutes, but it did restart. So we'll be back once this finishes loading. Okay, we are back, so we're going to again hit English as our main language. And it's preparing installation.
we want to uh, we want to use the three finger swipe down to get the controls and we do want to power off the machine then we're going to go back into utm and we're going to go back into the eye uh system where it says try booting from CD, we're going to go ahead and switch that to hard disk. Hit the configuration back and hit done. Now we're going to go ahead and hit the play button. We get, get once again, hide this if we want. The menu bar at the top. All right, so once the computer loads, we are back at the screen. So before we begin, we got to uh, acknowledge our keyboard. So we're going to hit OK. And we'll hit the Z key. And then we'll hit the question mark key. We want to make sure we select United States. Continue. Again, United States, continue, U.S. keyboard, continue. Here we're going to say, do not transfer my information for now, and hit continue. It, if you have an Apple ID and password, you could go ahead and enter it here. I'm going to skip that part for now. Your registration information, we could go ahead and skip that. Continue. This is where it wants you to create an account. So I'm going to just hit test. And I can hit the tab key and it's test down here. I'm going to leave the password blank. You hit continue. I'm going to hit OK that we don't want a password. And as you can see, it is creating the account. Again, this can take a few minutes, so I will be back on the uh, once this is done. All right, we're back. So it says thank you. So we're going to just hit go. As you can see, we have our desktop. And we now have Snow Leopard installed through UTM on your iPad. And there you go. That's how to install Snow Leopard on your iPad using UTM. If this video was helpful, please think about subscribing. Give it a thumbs up and uh, hit that notification bell for when I upload new videos. Thank you for watching.